Hello and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about the home folder with your user files and well how should you should deal with it you should you leave it on the same partition that the Linux system is or should you create a new partition for it or just put it on a separate hard drive so we will be talking about that so if you don't know then well you probably already know but let's just refresh ourselves our our knowledge here so in the Linux system you basically have the slash root directory which is the root of your file system and you have all this the home folder which contains the user files the root folder which con contains the folders of the root you have the boot folder which contains all the boot information that your computer needs to start up the system there is this usr which contains usually the programs you install the binaries and uh, other files for those programs that you are using and you also have the etc folder which contains system-wide configuration information so your home folder is usually every user has their own folder under slash home and they have your documents your pictures your configuration files that you use for your own uh, own uh, own instance like if you log in and how you set up your desktop preferences what scripts you want to use on login these are all in your home folder etc well you can put stuff in etc which will modify the behavior of the system for every user and of course in our modern efi systems we use an efi system partition to boot so that is mounted at slash boot that's a different partition and different color and some people suggest that uh, when you are installing your system that you should have a, another partition which uh, should bear the name which should be um, mounted under rather slash home so let's uh, draw this arrow there very nicely so this is other way around please <laughs> okay this arrow looks terrible but anyways you know what i wanted to express with this so your home folder is or home partition rather is mounted at the home folder so every user file will be in this other partition physically it will appear of course in your file system as under the home directory but in physically it will be on a separate partition in a in a, this different uh, place so i want to show you this image so this is how my windows installation worked so even when i was using windows 98 back in the day and we also only had a one gigabyte hard drive in the family computer i use this scheme and this is a very good reason to separate the c drive where you put your windows system and the d drive which contains all the documents that you and your family are using and that is so dear to you because especially in the windows millennium edition days it was kind of a every three months i had to reinstall windows and when you reinstall windows it is a better practice just to wipe all the files every wipe everything from the partition that you use uh, windows for because if you don't it can install but it's sometimes the configuration files and some files get messed up and some files are not going to be deleted and so it's gonna end up using a lot of space while using the d drive for your uh, another partition so it's same physical disk but a different partition on the disk is going to keep all your files so when you reinstall windows millennium edition you can just uh, jump to the d drive and just use all your files that you created and and keep on working on it i had some problem with this setup though in this computer because what happened to me is that i have a 240 gigabytes uh, 
drive, an SSD drive in this, and uh, my I basically just half 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 was for Windows, half was for my user files, and Windows basically ate up Windows and the programs, of course. So they all like all the program files were here, like the Office and the Blender and in, and other all the software was there too. So when I decided to install Warframe, I wanted to play some Warframe. It just basically ate up almost all my C drives, so my computer started panicking. It was not good. And of course, my D drive is in my documents. I have a lot of pictures they, that ate up all <laughs> the space there. And so the problem is with this setup, of course, which you will have the same problem, of course, if you do it under Linux, is that you have to be you have to make a concession when you make this partitioning scheme. So you have to decide, am I going to give a lot of space to this partition and uh, just a small home? Or we will, how small I am, we're going to be able to shrink the root partition, so the main system partition. Will I have any problem installing new programs? Will they eat up all my space? So I think that especially in my case so i was like okay if i try to i, I cannot make even an educated guess how much space my software will need because this is my first time using linux so that's why i didn't make the separate home partition i just decided everything should be on the same partition so when i have too much personal files, then my personal files can take over and my system is getting bigger than my system can take over this partition. It doesn't really matter. And what I did, I just bought another disk. Uh, it's an HDD, it's not a SDD because, well, it's bigger for the same price. You can get much bigger HDD than SSD. And I just basically said, let's have a media slash data folder here and let's just uh, mount our hdd to this uh, data folder can we have a nicer arrow here no we cannot okay so this is what i did so if once if i have big files like video ed for video editing and stuff i can just put it on the HDD under media slash data and all the other files like the pictures, the documents that I can just keep on the SSD. They can be on the same partition with my system. What the problem will be with this is if for some reason I decide that I don't want to use Arch Linux anymore, I want to use this other distribution and uh, I will have some problem re -inst or installing the new distribution while keeping my documents. So if you are using like Ubuntu or the Linux Mint or some like this long-term release uh, distribution switch, even if you are not switching the distro sometime in the future, you will have to update the newest version. And some people say that you don't update, just reinstall with the new uh, installation medium like Ubuntu 18.04 don't just upgrade to 19.04, but just use the 19.04 install and just reinstall the whole system. In that case, it is uh, probably easier if your home partition is on home do folder, home files, or your user files are all on a separate partition, and you can just remount this home partition on your new install and basically go back to it. Or if you are distro hopping a lot, that can also be very helpful. So fortunately in Arch Linux you can basically uh, up for, uh, update your system all the time with the rolling release model so your system is always going to be up to date you don't need to reinstall it and the big beauty of Arch Linux for me is that so in a distro hopping a lot of people distro hop just for the reason like oh I am on a let's say the Manjaro Budgie edition, but I want to try GNOME. So let me 
just wipe my system and install the Manjaro GNOME edition. You don't need to do this in Arch Linux, you can basically grab any um, any desktop environment and any kind of, so you can yeah you customize your system without uh, having to reinstall it that's a big bonus so just because you can keep your system and your files on the same partition and that's for that reason you don't need to kind of eyeball in which size your root partition should be which size your home part or home partition should be I suggest that you don't have a separate partition and even if you are not using Arch but some other distribution my main point would be that everything in your home directory your own files those should be very important to you because th that's your creation you made them so if you lose them you have to make them again if you lose your pictures for example you have no chance remaking your childhood pictures for example so everything in your home directory should be uh, saved to uh, some other place they, there should be a, at least one backup of it but if you are really uh, if you are really cautious about that you should have two backups of everything that you have in your home directory and in that case even if you're you have to reinstall your whole system for some reason and you cannot keep your home directory you need to repartition your system anything your files will be there you can just rsync them back to their place just one command and just wait until the rsync finishes and it will be there so i think yeah in general you don't need a separate home partition all advantages it would carry with itself can be replicated by some caution and yeah precaution basically and care about your system so that was all i had to say about this issue i hope you got some information about it or at least you heard another opinion which hopefully can help form your own opinion and well hit like and subscribe if you like this content and i'll see you in the next video bye bye